going to go over to the LPGA. I'm actually more excited this week about the LPGA. Audra Kepler, the legend. Portland Classic. It's at the Columbia Edgewater McCann course in West Lynn, Oregon. West Lynn, I know because MMA fighter Chael Sonnen famously said he was the gangster from West Lynn. And according to Google Maps, uh, the course looks very narrow, lots of trees. I think professional people use the word tight. And there's a good usage of water to penalize errant shots. This course looks really, really beautiful. And it looks like it's going to make for great television viewing. Yeah, of what I've heard from the past, it's tree line, it's gettable, like you don't have to be the, it's kind of like Silverado. You don't have to be the longest hitter to win that tournament. Like if you put the ball in play and you, they'll have a lot of short irons and wedges in this event. And um, I heard it's a really good venue with good food and they take care of the girls out there really well. Well, when I looked at the winners of this tournament, we've had Brooke Henderson win here twice. We've had Annika Sorenston win here twice. Suzanne Peterson's won here twice. Mama Luki's favorite, Dottie Pepper's won here. Uh, last year, we had Georgia Hall win. It seems like a certain elite level LPGA golfer tends to win this tournament. It, I almost want to say this tournament feels, I'm going to be hyperbole, like a memorial type event on the PGA Tour, that it could yeah. foreshadow a future major winner if you're able to win on this course. Yeah, Susie... Uh, not Susie. Uh, Stacy Lewis won a couple years ago when they had that Houston flooding, and so when she won that tournament, she donated all her money that she earned to Houston for the flood, so they could raise money to uh, help people that lost their homes or are looking for people. And I thought that was really cool. I think that is cool too. We got we got notable players in the field. We got a good field. I also think it's interesting that for four years, we randomly were, they played this event at Pumpkin Ridge as the ghost course. And then they're like, okay, we're going to go back to Columbia Edgewood. <laughs> like, I wonder what the story was there, but they, they did that for four years. Any feeling on the start of the LPGA on where you, th what you expect from the players going forward in this event? Mm. I think it's going to be like a one shot, leaderboard i think it's gonna be really close maybe a playoff because that course is gettable and i'm gonna see the winner shooting 16 under 17 under that's the number you think what do you yeah. what do you what do you think the strengths in the player's game is going to be needed because i think that it's going to be someone that has a phenomenal short game who's really really saving a lot of strokes getting up and down and making putts that's the type of player i see winning this tournament yeah someone that puts the ball in the fairway and hits the amount of, a lot of greens and makes a lot of putts is going to win this tournament for sure so i look it through it i think i'm going to go with one of my one of my girls i've thrown her in my list of my girls which is with nelly corda and carly hole it's a dark horse you didn't know she's in there she shushed me at the U.S. Open for an errant clap. She didn't like when I clapped, but I'm throwing Marina Alex in my girls list because she shushed me at the U.S. Open. I watched film. She's won this tournament. I think she's going to be a two-time winner of this event. I think, that, I think that she has – I think that the, to win this course, you have to have a very disciplined game. You have to know yeah. who you are as a golfer. You can't hit the Luki at Wenty on hole number 10 – I'm just going to take a very aggressive line and try to force carry my driver 245 and then feel bad when it doesn't get there. I think that she's going to be the one that's up there. I also really like Brooke Henderson. I know I'm just saying the big name players, but I think these are the two players that I think if you're in the field, you would feel like you're competing against them directly to win the tournament. For sure. I would say along with those players, like Yaley Mino, she came in second. Um, I believe in 2019. Okay. Not good, sure what date. Good but knowledge. Yeah. She 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 plays really well out there too. And a Luki observation, Lee Six. She plays good on in the on the West Coast. You know, I yeah. always see that Lee Six name. I'm always kind of taken aback when it says Lee and then a number six. I'm like, what is going on here? Yeah. But at the Olympic club, she had a very impressive game. And if you want to talk about a narrow punitive course, I don't think this course will be nearly as punishing as the Olympic club in terms of accuracy or attacking greens. And she was right up there 
for most of most of the women's US Open last year. So I think yeah. that she is kind of I think it's just her name is hard for people to say it. Like they're like, why do you say Lee Six? But she's someone I'm looking at. Yeah. Thank you for watching this vlog. I appreciate anyone who contributes or subscribes or even likes a video. This is a passion project and I'm just trying to do the best I can.